Hey YouTube, it is me, Ryan Holly. Once again, I'm YouTube user PB70CDOEM. Today that I am making this video is November 21st of 2021. And what we are going to do today is, for the sake of the video, we're going to run the IBM Aptiva recovery program with master CD part number 707H1634. This came out in December of 1995. And um, what we're also going to do is, let's say that you brought an IBM Aptiva computer off of eBay, came with all the CDs, but no boot floppy. What we are going to need, and let's say that the hard drive, well I'm actually using a CF card, a blank CF card in, in this case, but um, let's say that the hard drive has been wiped and there's no boot floppy. There are a few different ways that you can do this. Now on the master CD in the recovery US folder, there's a disk image called recovery.img, and there is a way to make a boot floppy off the recovery CD. Now let's say that you don't have an operating system installed, but you do have the CD itself. What we will be using in this case is a Windows 98 second edition boot floppy which has the CD-ROM support. And all you really need is like any DOS boot disk with CD-ROM support. So what we are going to do here is we're going to power the system on. Sorry about that little shake. Go ahead and hit escape to bypass the system memory test. Okay. We want to start the system with CD-ROM support. You know what, while that's going, let me um, grab the tripod. I should have done that before I started the video. Just hang tight. Where, oh, there it is. I found it. So I'm not getting it caught on any um, electrical wires. Okay, it says that it's starting up. It may take a few minutes. Really isn't going to take that much time at all. Okay, now what we are going to do is put the CD, the master CD, into the CD-ROM drive. Now the recovery program won't be run directly off of the Windows 98 boot disk. So we'll go to E colon, hit enter, CD space, recovery, CD space US, because we're in the United States in this case. Okay, we'll type in DIR slash W. And this is what's in the Recovery US folder of the um, Master CD. <clears throat> this is the disk image file I was talking about. And this is the program that we're going to use to create the disk. Load DSKF. Probably load disk floppy, I don't know. You know, file names in DOS being 8 characters max. Plus the... Um, three digit file type so dot dsk dot img now we're going to take out the windows 98 floppy and now we're going to insert 
a three and a half inch floppy disk. Okay. Now we will type in the same command again. Go ahead and type F3. Load disk F space recovery dot IMG space A colon. And then we're going to hit enter. This diskette is about to be overwritten. Be sure it contains no data you want to keep, etc., etc. And this disk is a blank disk. Now, in some cases, it'll say can't use the disk, it's not formatted. Either you're using a 720k disk, which is not what we want to use, or the disk might be corrupt and needs to be reformatted with the format program. Pretty much any DOS user would know how to use that. But in this case, we are going to format this disk. Okay. It might take about a minute. About halfway there. Seventy five per cent. You know, this can also be done through Win Image on a Windows Seven computer. You could, or you could actually also go on to my um, Internet Archive account. My username is Ryan H Nostalgia. And these are all the different CDs I have. With the recovery CD part number I mentioned, I actually recommend you know, the December of 1995 one. I actually recommend using that one. Okay, now at this point you'd probably want to label your disk Aptiva Recovery. 2144, 2168, M series or A series Aptiva models. If you have more than one Aptiva system. And then we're going to hit Control Alt Delete. Okay. It's booting off the diskette. Starting Windows 95. Okay. Now it's installing the driver for the CD drive so that it can access the master CD. Do you wish to update the Aptiva software on your hard drive? We want to hit yes. This is just legal stuff, license agreement, etc. Hit yes. And then at this point it says warning, if you continue your hard disk will be formatted and all files will be lost. Any personal files you wish to save should be backed up to diskettes. Of course you can back them up to a, another hard drive if your system has two hard drives. Or you could back them up to iOmega zip disks. I have a zip drive right here which plugs into the printer port. And last chance without going back we'll hit yes. Okay. Format complete. making Windows 95 system directories. Okay, and at this point the uh, system will um, run the recovery program through and we shall continue with the last couple of things I want to share after this is done. Now, 
I want to mention I can only upload 15 or less minutes on my YouTube channel. I actually did look it up. If anyone has any other suggestions on how I can undo that, as long as it doesn't cost money, and I also don't have a cell phone, so I can't use text messages or anything like that, you know, please let me know. But, um, we will be back after this is done. Okay, and we are back with our second clip of the video. I'm putting these together with Windows Movie Maker, at least I'm starting to get to know it. The recovery program has finished, and what we will do now is eject the recovery floppy disk that we created. We'll take the CD out too. And then it says press Control Alt Delete to reboot. Okay. Starting Windows 95. There's the Windows 95 first boot logo. Okay. Gathering information, so we'll click next. Um this is a temporary setup, so I'll just put user. It doesn't really matter. You can put whatever you want. I know YouTube user the Nostalgia Mall, aka Billy Core, likes to put down the Nostalgia Mall, but for me in this case, I'm going to just leave it blank. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'll probably show it just once on my channel. Don't come after me, Bill Gates. Don't come after me and with the copyright police or anything like that. It's abandoned where it doesn't matter. Honestly, you can find Windows 95 key codes anywhere. It doesn't matter. Matter of a fact, I have a Windows 98 first edition key code right here that I could just mention. It's not going to matter. Windows XP key codes, on the other hand, and newer, those ones do. In fact, um, you'll have to activate Windows in order to um, do your thing. Okay. Installing devices, I don't know what they mean by that. Just adjusting some settings or something. Okay, and this is the end of my video, and we will actually continue on with Aptiva Windows 95 OEM setup. So, I will see you guys in my next video. This is PB70CD OEM, Ryan Hawley, signing off. I'll see you in the next one.